Hey everybody, welcome back to another Grilling Tuesday. This is Gil and today we are cooking simple items on the Blackstone griddle. We're starting simple because I'm still new to it myself, but man, are these things coming out good. We did some bacon, we did hash browns, we seasoned the unit. There's even a video on how to go about assembling this whole thing. This one happens to be the um, Blackstone 36 inch Pro Series size, uh, which means it has the cabinet instead of the open section on the bottom. It's been pretty nice. You can store your utensils and whatnot inside. And as long as you have a vinyl cover, it seems to be keeping the water out of the drawers. Uh, that wouldn't be the case otherwise. So yeah, uh, really simple today. We're gonna be doing some eggs, right? Classic item. I will say, I'm still learning this a little bit. And what I'm finding out is it gets really hot. So I have one side of the griddle off and then I have the other three burners on low. And it got really, really hot, almost too hot. The bacon cooked too quick. So what I've done is turned off the two on the right hand side and I have both of these on low. I just cleaned it with a little bit of water to help keep it a little bit cooler, a little bit of water, right? Never spray the whole thing, you could warp it. So I'm gonna cook these offset of the burners and the idea is it should be hot enough from the uh, indirect heat that it'll still cook it, but cook it a little bit slower than it might directly on the actual burners themselves. So I think that's gonna be a good way to go about doing this. Uh, let me get a little bit of oil on this thing and toss our eggs on. Now you can use butter or oil. I happen to be using oil this time. Normally I would use butter, but this is for me, is just a way to, um, Kind of see how this whole thing works not a whole lot there maybe a teaspoon and i'm going to use a, a, a spatula and just sort of spread this out a little bit just to make sure we have sort of good coating on the grill <laughs> i'm going to start with the baby's eggs because she likes egg whites only and i figure that this that's the most forgiving so let's see i've got one burner here one burner here this one's off i'm going to do it right about here and see how it go and you can see even the offset it, uh, it's cooking quickly. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper for her. Never used one of these. I'm going to see how well that does just to see if it helps cook the top of it with this little dome. I think it will. We'll give that a shot. Definitely gonna put a little bit more butter on it next time. Ideally, what I wanna do is have there be enough uh, loose uh, oil or butter underneath that I can slide the spatula right under very easily. There we go. Nice egg whites here for her. I'm gonna scoot this over a little bit more and just gonna go ahead and get this egg white right on here. And all in all, this looks like it turned out really good. I'm gonna take just that. Ooh. Be careful when you pull it right off the griddle, it's hot. But yeah, this looks like it turned out really well. Get her a uh, couple of pieces of bacon because she already told me that's what she wanted. And I think we are set with at least one of these. All right, we started out simple. It was just a flat old egg white, uh, you know, fried egg, but egg whites only. And now we're gonna go ahead and get a little butter spread on here and we're gonna now do two over easy. Or at least that's the plan. <laughs> What's funny is uh, because the baby doesn't like egg yolks, I'm just going to drop an extra egg yolk in that one. <laughs> so it'll look like a doubler. Let me do her other egg as well. Ooh. That egg broke very oddly. So I want to get these really nice and... Um, I want to get these nice color on the top. So I'm going to go ahead and just cover this up too. What we want to do is we're just allowing this to get a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of steam on the top of that. Let it cook it, keep it nice and moist in there. That looks good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and break this apart here so we can get this guy flipped. Whew, it's gonna be a tight one. These are looking good. I think uh, these are gonna be for Deb. Uh, over easy is the way she likes them. <laughs> I always joke that she has about a five second window where they're perfectly cooked. The white's cooked all the way through, but the yellow's still runny. And uh, well, I either get a little bit of that white runny or the yellow not as runny. But, but in the frying pan inside, uh, there's about a five second window where those are right. So looking forward to these. What do you think? Close? Mm -hmm. 